As we saw in the previous report, President Yoon's visit to the Czech Republic is particularly significant as a Korean company has been selected as the preferred bidder to build two nuclear power units there. For more on what was discussed in the summit between the leaders of the two countries, we're joined by Dr. Bin Jong-hun, professor of Korean National Diplomatic Academy. Professor Min, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning. So, Dr. Min, the two presidents showed confidence that the legal issues surrounding the nuclear power plant deal will be resolved. How do you think this issue will likely play out? Well, as you mentioned, the project faces, uh, faces a legal challenge uh, because Westinghouse and EDF filed an appeal last month, and uh, they argued that Korea Hydro and Nuclear Power, KHNP's reactor designs, are based on its technology, and so it's not allowed for KHNP to export a nuclear power plant without its permission. But the KHNP argues that the reactor is a model that South Korea developed independently, although it received some help from Westinghouse in the early stages of the development of the reactor. Uh, anyway, the, regarding the dispute, President Yoon said that the governments of South Korea and the United States are working closely together to create a friendly atmosphere between their companies. And it is expected that it will come up with an amicable resolution. And he also said that there is no need to worry about the nuclear power plant business because under the strong ROK US alliance, there is enough consensus about the need for cooperation in nuclear power between the two countries. So it suggests that um, South Korean government is working closely with the, the United, U.S. government to find a solution uh, for their intellectual property disputes between the two companies. So I expect that the disputes will be resolved amicably. Right, and South Korea aims to export 10 nuclear power plants by 2030. Do you think we can expect the country to export more nuclear reactors to other European nations? Yes, I hope so. The Czech nuclear power plant project is estimated to cost about 24 trillion won for the two units. In addition, if the Czech government decides to build two more units like a Kamlin 3 and 4, there is a possibility that KHNP solutions will be also selected as, as the preferred bidder for the project. And the President Yoon plans to use this visit to the European country as an opportunity to lay the foundation for the nuclear power alliance. So the many industry, academia, and the research and development representatives from the nuclear power industry come with the President Yoon this time and they will discuss with their counterparts about cooperation measures uh, across all stages of the nuclear power ecosystem, including nuclear power plant design, operation, and the nuclear fuel radioactive waste management. So this can be seen as a strategic approach that would challenge new nuclear power plant projects in neighboring European countries. Um, South Korean government is actively pursuing nuclear power plant experts. For example, when President Yoon visited Washington, D.C. in July to attend the NATO summit, he had a separate bilateral summit meetings with the leaders of major European countries, including the Czech Republic, the Netherlands, Sweden, and Finland, and they discussed cooperation about new nuclear power plants. So I think that South Korea is just entering European nuclear power plant market, and I believe that it will be able to export nuclear reactors to other European countries based on its price competitiveness and technological capabilities. And another key issue that was discussed in the summit was security, as South Korea you know, seeks to ramp up security ties not just with the Czech Republic, but also with other NATO member states especially amid concerns on North Korea's cooperation with Russia. Do you think President Yoon's visit would create an opportunity for South Korea to strengthen security ties with other European countries? Yes, I think so. Um, the ongoing Ukraine war clearly shows that um, Russia is the immediate security threat to the European countries. And that they are also worried about the military cooperation between North Korea and Russia 
because North Korea is providing ammunition and other military weapons to Russia. So they are eager to work with, together with South Korea and other Indo-Pacific countries in order to effectively cope with the illegal military and eco economic cooperation between North Korea and Russia. And I think that's why South Korea has been invited to the NATO summit for the three years in a row. And uh, enhancing security, security cooperation between NATO and uh, Indo-Pacific countries, including South Korea, shows that global security environment is changing, specifically is getting more connected to each other. So, and uh, European countries perceive that they can be safer and stronger when it stands with like-minded partners in order to defend the rules-based international order. So they are willing to work with their Indo-Pacific partners like South Korea. So I think the president used the visit to the Czech Republic this time provide South Korea and European countries with an opportunity to improve their security, security cooperation. Right, and the two presidents also agreed to work together to help rebuild Ukraine. What's your take on this? Well, it's not still clear when the Ukraine war is over, but I think that it's about time to prepare for rebuilding Ukraine after the war. Um, the, all parties in the world, like Russia, Ukraine, NATO countries, including the United States, feel fatigued because the war is prolonged for such a long time. So I think that they are trying to find an exit to end the war. And I think that the upcoming U.S. presidential election in this November will be an important turning point for the world. And so anyway, the South Korea needed to work closely together with the European countries to support the Ukraine in order to play an active role in rebuilding Ukraine later and deepen its economic ties with the European partners. Indeed, Dr. Min, thank you so much for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you.